This isn't a car. Wait a second. This isn't a bad wing. Who the hell designed this? <laughs> Lucius, you're fired. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Dark Knight Rises movie, The Bad, with Launch and Attack Batman. Here we got the packaging for The Bad. It has a Batman that launches into Bat. Toll, get it? Haha. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's the Dark Knight Rises logo right there. Um, as well as you can see, window box of the Bad. Has a Try Me for Battle sounds, which I'll show off in a bit. The Bad would launch and attack Batman. The back has a little bio about when Commissioner Gordon stumbles upon the plot to destroy the city when within. Bruce Wayne gets back into action as the Batman. Waiting for him is Bane, a lethal adversary on a crusade to tear apart Batman's legacy piece by piece. Wow, so I wonder how long Batman's been in retirement. We'll find that out when the Dark Knight Rises comes out. Anyway, what it says here is fires mega missiles, it has spinning propellers, it has easy grip flight handle. That's what she said. Picture that launches into battle, and you can see here it fits most 3 3 4 inch Batman figures. Um, and also, you can see here other figures in the line, including um, armor attack bat pod, combat buster tank, gunship hover jet, and the uh, uh, Bat Tech um, figures. Time for this bat to fly! And here we got the bat. A definitely interesting uh, design choice of uh, the new bat wing, I guess. But uh, let's take a closer look at the toy. Before we take a look at the bat, let's look at the launch and attack Batman. Now this figure... Uh, well, it's meant to fly out, which I'll show the feature in a bit. Um, it's made of a very soft foam. It's like that Nerf like dart foam as you guys are known. Um, the sculpting is pretty good for the most part. It even has some pain for his belt. It's not just generic. Well, I mean, but the rest of this black. It is um, a little hard plastic right there and on this part so it can slide into the bat. As well as the head is um, also like a little bit, well it's still that kind of foam but yeah, the wings or everything, you know, it'll, it'll fly out, but it doesn't have any articulation to it whatsoever. Now the bat itself, for the most part, looks like how it looks in the movie. Um, just made of black, solid plastic. You know, the detail is pretty good for the most part. You know, nothing too intricate. Uh, it's not going to be like the Hot Toys one, which, you know, this is just a $30, you know, $32 toy. But um, it has a little button right there that will shoot out the missile make sounds, which I'll show here in a bit. And it you know, has a little cockpit to um, open up and you can put any 334 Finch Batman figure in here. Well, I don't have any because those figures suck. You put Spider-Man in here, any, any 334 Finch figure will fit in there. It is not entirely the scale because in the movie we saw Catwoman, and, or in at least the trailer, trailer, Batman and Catwoman fit in here, so it should fit two people. But like I said, a lot of these vehicles aren't to scale anyway. But um, you can see here, and I'll just show this feature, the propeller spin, yay! Uh, it would be nice, especially for a toy like this with the propellers at the bottom, um, that it had some button to make it spin because I don't see people holding it and just spinning it. I, I, I don't know, it would be cool kind of having a slice and dice effect. You, you hold the little handle on the top here, which the handle has this little button right here, which I'll show, which is for the flying bad launching bad attack but so i don't know if the handle is really part of the design of the movie but it, it goes seamlessly kind of with it but overall you know like i said the detail you know is okay for you know a vehicle in this price range and stuff you know just pretty much black plastic with some gray bits right here for the guns i guess and the, the buttons the bat does come with two uh, missiles included a shootout from its little missile launcher press the button and shoots out one and it just shot me in the chest and then this one and you can hear it makes a couple sounds just some generic firing sounds kind of like a bomb smell so the last feature is, of course, the main thing about uh, this vehicle. You would simply open this up and you would just see there's a little slot right here for this little um, part of Batman. You just line it up and put it back in here and you close this up. And of course, you got to make sure at the bottom here there's a lever. You just make sure to pull it back. And then with this little button right here, you just simply uh, pull it back and then it'll pop up once and then pull it back again. 
Oh, and it just hit me in the head. What the hell? I'm the one of the most popular superheroes all the time. Why don't I get any cool vehicles? I'm stealing this. Oh my god, this is awesome! Batman, what the hell? Are you trying to steal the path? Don't worry, Batman. I'm just borrowing it. Don't be jealous just because I can afford all these vehicles because I'm rich, Biatch. You're right, Batman. You're so rich. I bet you can buy me launch. Launch? What do you mean? Wait, Spider-Man, don't touch that button! <laughs> Size comparison time. So here you can see the bat. Um, it's an interesting scale. Um, you know, compared to um, 334 Finch, it's not entirely in scale. Like I said, it should be a little bit bigger uh, and able to fit two uh, 334 Finch figures. Um, it is about the same size, actually a little bit um, not as long as the uh, Tumblr Batmobile, but that was more for six inch scale. But and then uh, the, you can see how it is as long or not as long as the movie masters somewhere but it is probably the the tallest out of all these vehicles now design wise the bad is really interesting but weird it's not as cool as the bad wing from the 1989 batman movie to me this kind of reminds me of the tumbler but without wheels and yeah, I, I just wish it had more of a bat look, but of course you could say that about a lot of the the Nolan Batman uh, vehicles. I mean, um, for as a toy, um, it is cool that you can fit any three through four inch figure, like whether it's the Batman ones, which <coughs> suck, um, or you can put your you know other figures if you want to, like you know, like put the Spider Man in there or any other three through four inch. You put GI Joes, whatever. Um, the of course missile launchers kids will love it has some sounds which is always a plus in my book uh, the little propellers i wish there was a feature to um make them spin on their own because it's kind of i mean it's cool that they spin but uh it would have been cool if like the handle had a button to make them spin I, that's just my thing and for the launching batman that is actually pretty cool and i know and thank God they made it a soft plastic because literally it hit me in the head and it didn't hurt. So good job, Mattel, for making safety, uh, make it safe. So for 32 bucks, I, I say it's about reasonable. I would really like this to be a little bit cheaper, maybe 25 at the most. But it does have lights, it does have sounds, and it does come with a Batman. I wish it came with a Batman you can actually put in the pit. But still, uh, it is fun, and if you if you want a really detailed to scale the bat that will be for your Hot Toys Batman Dark Knight figures, then Hot Toys will be releasing one sometime next year. But it will cost a lot. So for thirty bucks for something that's in three, three, four fin scale mostly, I say it's it's pretty cool. And like I said, if you like Batman vehicles and you want to collect all of them from all the movies and for kids, I say go for it. If you're just fans of good figures of like what articulation, um, I don't know if they'll make a Movie Masters one in that scale. Probably not. But like I said, I I recommend it. For more geek news, reviews, and more, check out BKBN.net. I'm Sean Long. Remember, celebrate your name and a big one. Where does he get? Those wonderful toys. He gets them at Alter Ego Comics. Excuse me. He was saying he gets them at AlterEgoComics.com. <laughs> For the latest in hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more, visit AlterEgoComics.com. They take PayPal pre order and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for hot toys. You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Go to BKBN.net. Go to BKBN.net. Hold on, I want to do, I want to do, come on, hit me. Hit me! Oh. I said to go ahead and hit me, not go over my head.